Honorary Majesties, here uh, I want us to discuss uh, this uh, statement made by these men and see how it affects us as a melanated community that the black churches should consider investing in economic impact or cease to exist. Churches ceasing to exist is not something that is inevitable. It is something that is gradually coming to reality, as we can see, because the world is changing and a lot of things are coming, they are becoming clear to people, okay? Now, my interest is the last statement that this man made while they were having this discussion. I want us to listen to this short clip, then we will talk more about divine unity church raises 11 billion dollars a year say uh, that again the black church raises 11 billion dollars in tithes and offering a year if you put all of those black churches together they wouldn't make a fortune 100 company the smallest fortune 100 company has revenues of 44 billion dollars that's qualcomm mm -hmm. the largest fortune 100 company is walmart it has uh, revenues of 611 billion dollars which means that all of these black churches and all of these black preachers and all of these denominations don't make a single strong american corporation Ooh. so the 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 challenge of african american people together as as you as you've heard me say the challenge is not necessarily uh political it's internal unity mm -hmm. and our ability to work together toward toward a meaningful outcome so you're absolutely right if the church isn't involved in economic impact economic engagement that it actually will cease to exist in the near future so our challenge is unity because we are not united okay now the reason why i said we need to talk about unity today is because we don't have a choice i don't know if you're still watching up up until this time but i pray you do because I want us to have a heart-to-heart -heart at this moment. As a melanated people around the world, there is no other way out for us. Unity is the only thing no. No, we have been talking about unity, Africans unite, Africans unite. Oh. As black people, melanated all over the world, we need to unite. That's the way out of all this. The world fear a united black race. I will still say this again here. I wouldn't be tired of reminding you. Why do you think they're putting effort, time, and money, energy into seeing that we hate each other? Into seeing that we are dispersed, we are not united. Why do you think so? Because in our unity, the world vibrates. And that is a fact, your majesties. When our ancestors were united in ancient times, there was no segregation, there was no discrimination. Oh, you are not from this angle, or oh, you are not from that angle. There was divine unity. The heart, the mind, and soul was one. Look at what they achieved. They gave the world technology today. Whatever you think exists today and you think is advanced technology has existed before now. It's a fact that you can always go check it out. Your Majesties, and I'm going to draw your mind to divine unity. Like I said, we've had a discussion about this some time back, but I want us to have more discussions because it is important that we do divine unity what is divine unity and why should we delve towards uniting divinely your majesties yes the spirits and black people that you see walking the earth today as crackheads junkies jailbirds gangsters pimps prostitutes strippers transgenders murderers and just normal professionals
Your Majesties, we heard that there is a lot that we have confused ourselves with. Things that we shouldn't bother our reasonings with, we bother our reasonings with them. We take so uh, to take to account things that we shouldn't take to account, and the things we should take to account, we don't take them to account. The world has been turned upside down. Our priorities have been, uh, 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 I don't know, switched. And that's why we are so empty, we are confused. We don't know what else to do to help us develop as a melanated race. Your Majesties. But when we decide to unite, to love each other once again, without thinking, oh, you, you are melanated from Africa. No, you, you are from America. No, you, you are from this other island. Uh -uh, you are from that place. All this segregation and division we see amongst ourselves, the moment we cut that off and see ourselves as one, then that is when what we want for ourselves will come to pass. We need to work this ourselves. We work out our salvation with, by ourselves with our hand. Nothing is coming from somewhere to do this for us. But it's quite unfortunate this day and time that we allow a lot of things to divide us the more. Religion number one and chief. Oh no, I'm Muslim. Oh, I'm Christian. But you are a melanated person. You don't, that is not what you take to account anymore. What is important to you now is a religion. So you see your brother who is in their need, you refuse to help your brother, you refuse to save your brother because your brother is a Christian. You don't want to have anything to do with your brother. You see your brother is a pagan, you call your brother Arni. Your fellow melanated. That before religion, we were one. Religion came and divided us and gave opportunity to more divisions. And we accepted this in the melanated community. We don't care anymore. What we care about are things that we shouldn't care about. They succeeded in turning our, our priorities upside down. Misplaced priority. Oh, you are not Christian. I wouldn't have anything to do with you. When you die, you are not going to heaven. Even in the Christian dorm, as melanated Christians, there are still division, there is still disunity. Everything is working to divide us. Even in Islam, there are still division. Everything is working to divide us. When are we going to wake up and see the reality of these things, your majesties? You are not coming to my church. It is my church that is the head of God. If you are not coming to my church, you are not, part, you are not going to see the face of God. What is our problem? Do we use the, the, the creators giving a common sense at all to think? Do we think with what we were created with the brains that what was interwoven carefully and placed within our head to use? Do we use it? We see that and allow ourselves to be divided and conquered. And then we open our mouth and say, why do the world not love us? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? We gave consent. Before anything happens to any being, a consent must be given, either directly or indirectly. We gave consent, and that is why we are where we are today. We need to work, realize, return back, okay? Return back to where we lost it and pick it up. And how do you think we can do this? We need to love ourselves again. We need to love ourselves again as melanated people. I know why I'm saying this. Irrespective of ge geography, whether you are here or you are there, as far as this is melanated, it's your brother, it's your sister. Drop every, um, what do you call it? Demonic thoughts, devilish thoughts, take it out of your head. The thoughts of taking advantage of your brother or your sister, take it from your head. The thoughts of hurting your brother or your sister, take it from your head. Don't be assuming that it's that brother that needs to change or is that sister from this angle that needs to change. Take it that it is me that needs to change. Me, Abigail, I need to change. And you looking at me, you need to change. Let us work out this, this unity and see it come to pass in our time. 
And if it doesn't come to pass in our time, we have a belief that in the time of our children, it will come to pass. Let's put in efforts, no matter how little it is, to our unity as a people. By, by the little love we show to your, your direct neighbor in your community. What are those good things you do for them? I'm not talking about you looking at the other person and saying, this person must do first. What is that cordial relationship you have? When I get some of your emails, oh, I'm living uh, in Europe, I'm living in some part of America, and whenever I see a black person, the person that wants to relate with me, why will you be in another man's town? You see your brother, you don't want to talk to your brother. You don't want to talk to your sister. What are those thoughts in your head? Do you think that your brother will come and ask you for help? If your brother or your sister asks you for help, you don't have. Genuinely, it's okay, I don't have this. Nobody's coming to force you or tie your head and say you must help your brother that, is, that, that, is, that you see in another man's land. It's unfortunate that you'll be walking on the street to see a black person, you turn your face as if you, you have not seen anybody. Or you squeeze your face so that that brother will not come and talk to you. When we continue doing this, this is what the enemy wants, and there's no way that we'll be united as we should. I feel like drawing this to your attention. Let's remind ourselves that we need to go back to what we were. Let's go back to that crossroads. Let's go back. Okay? Return back and begin again. So that at least something will change in the melanated community. Divine unity. Where our hearts and minds and soul are one. Irrespective of wherever we'll be at any point in time. But there's something in us that is one. One heart, one mind, one soul. Our divine being is one. Because we all came from that one source. We originated from that one source, that divine source. So why do you think that we are so apart today? Yes, the enemy is putting efforts that we are apart. But we gave consent. That's what I'm saying. We gave consent to this disunity amongst us as melanated people. And it is high time that we retract. We go back and start again. By rediscovering who we are and loving ourselves unconditionally as melanated brothers and sisters. Mind you, whichever evil you do to a brother or a sister, we definitely look for you. So I don't... Don't think that someone will come do you good and you want to repay the person with evil. Any good you do to any being on the face of the earth will definitely come back to you. And so also any evil you do. So if you are sitting and thinking of how you go and keep doing evil to people, know that evil will keep following you. But the good you do, no matter how little it is, will find you in hundred folds. That should be the belief you have in you because that is the truth of how the world operates. I'm going to see you in my next one. But today, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, stay positive, always, Your Majesties. Bye for now.